I'm trying to do too many things at once. I've got a film running in the background and I'm also trying to prepare this area here for a new video project. And I thought it'd be really nice to bring you a different sort of video because this preparation is going to take more than just sort of one day. And I want to give you some updates all in one video of what's going on over here. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but no doubt one of you, or more than one of you, will likely guess what I'm preparing for over in that area of the studio. This also marks the start of some vlog type videos as well. And I wanna tell you what I purchased just recently, which was one of these. These were on offer on Amazon. This is Now TV, so you can get these with movie passes or entertainment passes. And I decided to go for one of these because it was half price at the time. Didn't even need the box because the TV behind me has got Now TV built in. So I just used the code inside and I'll probably put this on another screen somewhere. But anyway, the work that I'm doing behind me here, I've got to actually do quite a bit behind the telly as well. I'll show you. Just behind the telly here, I've got the center speaker. And if you come back down to a normal seating position, you can't see that speaker. So I need to raise the center speaker up by round about 90 to 100 millimeters. Not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. If any of you have got any ideas, then please do let me know in the comments section below. Now, if you watch the videos regularly, you all have seen this area of the studio as well. Well, there's gonna be something new installed just to the left of me here, which you'll see in a future video, or you might even see it in this video. We'll wait and see how this pans out. But this is gonna be recorded over quite a few days, and I'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna take me. So, we are making some progress. This area is now clear. I have to now empty these cupboards out because this is now going in a different room and then I'll introduce a new piece of furniture into the studio. Okay, that is as much as I'm going to do today because I'm absolutely shattered. It's now Saturday and I am doing some more work on the setup over here. As you can see, it's all nice and clean now. I've also had another delivery which I'm unpacking on the top of the cabinet. Now, I said to you, I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's pretty obvious what I'm setting up over here. I'm super excited. I've got plenty more deliveries coming next week and then I'll reveal the complete setup at the start of a brand new video series. And I'm really excited about this. It has been so, so many years since I've had a setup like this. at these gorgeous, gorgeous speakers. I am very pleased and I haven't even listened to them yet. Welcome to my Sunday and I'm currently in the editing room grabbing 30 minutes just to do some work behind me on this shelf here. And the reason I'm doing this on a Sunday is because I ordered something yesterday, so on a Saturday, around about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and 11 a.m. on the Sunday, it was delivered to me from Scan Computers. So big, big shout out to Scan Computers for amazing customer service and super quick dispatch. So I'm gonna clear this shelf off now because I've got something new to put up on it. You know what? I'm not sure if any of you have seen this in my previous videos, but this little Canon PowerShot 880 with a little articulating screen. Look at how tiny this screen is. This was my very first YouTube camera. So the very first video I did on the Geekanoise channel 
was actually recorded with this. And I'm not sure if it's got any batteries in, which it hasn't, but the last time I checked it, which was about probably six, seven months ago, it still works. The screen doesn't work very well, but the camera still records and takes photos. Unbelievable. Canon, if you're watching this, this is what started my YouTube career. What have I found here? iPod Classic. This is a 16 gigabyte iPod Touch. Another iPod Touch. This is just a case. Things are connected up and it's currently booting up behind me there and things were very easy to set up because this is a super light screen so it's very easy to lift up there and what I've been doing is setting up a little Mac mini server using Mac OS Sierra which is going to be connected in the editing room and it's going to actually serve up audio to the setup that I'm doing in the studio which is very very exciting. So here we go we've got the Mac Mini in the corner there now initially I was going to put that up on the shelf as well but there's no need to because it would mean having more wires running up to the shelf anyway so the Mac Mini is staying on the desk got an Apple Magic Mouse there just in case I need it I primarily use a trackpad on all of my computers now so this is a Logitech trackpad Apple wireless keyboard and then of course the screen you've already seen up on the shelf there which is from iArma, and I'm really pleased with it. It's a 24 inch screen, very good value. And as I explained a little bit earlier, this is primarily gonna be used for an iTunes music server. It's going to serve the music up to the studio, and I might find another use for it as well in the future. And for those of you wondering the model number, there you go, it's the iArma ProLite XU2490 HS. And there you go, job done in under 30 minutes. In fact, it took me 24 minutes.